Hey guys, it's Bryn. Welcome to what I expect is going to be a very different video. So lately I've really been wanting to clear out my makeup. My makeup, I guess you could call it my storage situation, has been a little rough for a while now and I'm kind of just forcing myself at this point to go through it, get rid of things, and get some sort of organization to it. So I figured since I'm gonna go through it and do it anyway, I might as well just film my process. Are you interested in that? I don't know. If you're watching this now, then maybe. <laughs> so this is not going to be like a consecutive vlog like I normally do. This is going to be very much like bits and pieces as I go through my makeup collection, uh, as I'm clearing stuff out, as I'm buying new stuff to organize it, how I'm organizing it, etc. So I'm hoping this is going to be like a beginning to end of clearing out my makeup, organizing it, the whole thing in one or two videos. If it gets really long, I'll split it up, but that's essentially my plan for this. So I haven't done anything yet in regards to this. So I figured I'd just show you what my situation's like right now um, and start going through with it and see where we end up. And maybe a few days from now, maybe weeks from now, maybe months from now, I don't know. We'll figure out what the next step is and we'll go from there. This could work out really well or this could be a massive failure. Who knows at this point? I'm blissfully unaware. But let me just show you what we're working with right now. So this is currently my makeup situation. Um, I got this table, I think it's probably technically like a TV table of some sort, um, but I got it at Pier 1 on sale and it's kind of broken and falling apart, but I got it on sale, so can't really complain. When I lived in Buffalo, I used this more for just like random things like um, user manuals, notebooks, pens, any random thing that I didn't know what to do with. And then when I moved back to Indiana, I couldn't fit my vanity in my bedroom. So I ended up just putting all my makeup into these drawers. I have these two and one other right here. And this is just kind of how I'm storing it at the moment because I don't know what else to do. So I think you'll find my makeup collection is big. Um, I have a lot more than just like your average person, um, but also not as much as like your average beauty guru. So I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Regardless, I still have too much stuff and I don't need all of it. So I'm going to go through it and get rid of the stuff that I've been hoarding for like two, three years. Get out of my face. <laughs> so first I just wanna quickly show you, I have these two brush holders. Um, I got these things from Anthropology. They actually came with a lid, but I'm obviously not using the lid. So these are my two things of very dirty makeup brushes. I have my big ones in this one and my small ones in this one. It's a very creative system. But I've actually managed to keep my brush collection fairly small. So for me, this is good. I get rid of them fairly often. And then I'll just show you, I don't know if I'm gonna go through this or not yet. Um, this is all my lip products. I got this cute little box. I believe it's probably Anthropology. I can't specifically remember, but it looks like it's Anthropology. And basically it just houses all my lip things. <laughs> we can go through this if you want me to, but I don't feel like doing this right now. So let me just grab the camera and show you what my situation looks like currently. It's not great, so... Alright, so this first drawer here houses all of this. <laughs> so this over here has basically been my primers, setting sprays, um, that sort of thing. Here are the few powders that I have. I have single eyeshadows stacked up like all along the back here. This is mascaras and eyeliners and this over here like right stacked up over here is like brow things. So as you can see it's kind of a wreck and I need to figure out how to better go through this. Moving on to this drawer. I actually have a slight amount of organization here. I have these couple clear plastic like squares. These two were supposed to be for bronzers, these two for blush, but obviously some things have kind of overflowed into the other areas. This up here in the front is concealers. This back here is highlighters. <laughs> and these are all foundations. This is insane, I know. I don't even have any words for this. This drawer just has random stuff, um, not really makeup related. And then this drawer houses 
all of my palettes. So eyeshadow palettes, face palettes, um, some eyelashes that I don't use, and some beauty blenders that I don't use. So this I'm not quite sure what to do with. This is going to take some creative thinking because I just don't know how to make this any better, but they're just like stacked one on top of another here. I should probably get rid of some of these because I do not use all of these palettes. This is kind of insane. So yeah, this is my current situation. I don't even know where to start to be honest with you. But I just need to kind of go through every little section and get rid of things that I don't use anymore. I think that's gonna be the first step because there's no sense in getting an organization for stuff that just needs to go. So step one, makeup clear out, starts in three, two, one, now. So I was gonna start with foundation and I put everything on the floor and looking at it now, it looks like 10 times more than I thought it was. So yeah, this is in definite need of a clear out. I'm going to start with the ones that I know for sure I want to keep. So that includes this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It's gonna include this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Definitely wanna keep my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is a for sure keep. My Too Faced Born This Ways in two different shades. Um, my like winter and my summer. <laughs> These L'Oreal Pro Glows are fairly new, so I'm gonna keep those. Both of these Bare Minerals um, are fairly new tries. This is the Loose um, Foundation and this is the um, Packed Foundation, so definitely gonna keep these because these are like new tries for me. Definitely gonna keep this Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is totally my winter shade, but I love this, so I'm gonna keep it. I also really like these Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundations. Um, this one looks disgusting. But I do really love these, so I'm going to keep them because I know if I don't, I'll probably just wanna buy them again. And then I have these two Anastasia Stick Foundations, which I know get a ton of crap, but I actually really like them. I think they're really nice for a more like natural foundation look. And I don't use these a ton, but I do really like them and I do want to keep them and keep using them. So that leaves all of this, which I feel like I should get rid of. This is the Tarte um, Hybrid Gel Foundation. And it's kind of a color that only matches me every so often, but I feel like I've barely used it. And I don't know, I'm, I'm having a hard time with this one. <laughs> and the only other one I'm having a hard time letting go of is this Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I don't know about this one either. These two I'm on the fence about, but all of these I'm okay getting rid of. Um, these NARS Sheer Glow, I love the NARS Sheer Glow, but I will tell you I've had these for like two and a half, if not three years. So these definitely need to go in the trash. <laughs> Same thing with this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I have had this for what feels like a decade. So probably time to let this one go. These Revlon Color Stays I almost never use. So goodbye friends. This L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation, again, never used, so this is gonna have to leave. And then this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, it is almost gone, um, and I don't really use this anymore, so I feel like I'm happy getting rid of it because, like I said, it's practically empty anyway. As far as these two, I think I'm okay getting rid of this one, or at least seeing if there's anyone I know that wants it. And I might do the same with this one. If I can't find anyone to take it, I'll keep it. Um, I just don't feel right throwing it away for some reason, if only because it has really pretty packaging. Um, and I feel like I don't want to get rid of it. All right, now on to concealers. And once again, this looks like so much more than it did in the drawer. Starting with things I'm gonna have to keep, first and foremost, are my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealers. I'm obsessed with these. I will never get rid of them. And to be honest, <laughs> this is pretty much the only concealer I use out of all of these. So. It should be easy to get rid of a ton of these, but I can tell you right now, it won't be. <laughs> Next up, I definitely wanna keep my Tarte Shape Tapes. Um, these are both super light for me right now, but I know in the winter that these will be great. And they're also really nice to add into other concealers if you need some more coverage, so totally keeping these. Also definitely keeping my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, um, except I can probably get rid of this one. This is vanilla, which is probably like the best shade for me, but I can tell it's almost empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that one away and keep these two shades. All right, I have like four, four Maybelline Fit Me concealers here. There has to be some duplicate shades. Yeah, I have three Maybelline Fit Me's in the color light. Like, what am I doing? So I'm gonna get rid of two of those and then also keep this fair one. I also 
Definitely want to keep this Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, but I know I used to use this like religiously, so I'm not ready to get rid of it just yet. This Smashbox one is a color correction stick. It's in the green color. Again, I feel like I want to keep it because I just don't know if I'm going to want this at some point. I also have this Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer, which I don't love, but I do want to keep it because I do use this every so often. It comes in handy and I haven't found anything that I like better. In terms of these Smashbox contour sticks, um, I feel like these are just nice to have. I don't have that many cream contour products, but I feel like I want to keep them. The only one that I don't think I would use is the highlight, but it feels weird getting rid of one of them and not the other ones, so I guess I'll just keep them. Um, <laughs> I know I probably should get rid of them, but I can't. So that leaves these four. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I know people love these, but I hate these concealers. I've obviously tried two different shades, and these turn so orange on me, I hate them. I am totally fine giving these away or throwing them away or something. This Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer, I love, but it is practically empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Same with this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I love it, but I think I need to repurchase a new one because this one is running empty as well. Now for my highlight collection, which makes me feel so much better because I'm not a total hoarder. Like, this isn't too bad. <laughs> um, in terms of what I have to keep, Champagne Pop is a definite keeper. Same with this Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I love it. I also love um, the NARS Hot Sand Highlight. It's one of my favorites. This one's the Becca um, Pressed Highlighter in Moonstone, which I don't use all the time, but it's really nice to have um, if I want to do like a natural highlight. This is my go-to. And also a classic, the Laura Geller Gilded Honey um, Definite Keeper. And this e.l.f. highlight in the color Lush Gems. I think I'm okay seeing if somebody else wants this because I don't use this one very often. It's really pretty, but I just have other ones I prefer. And in terms of these like cream ones, I don't really know what to do. These two ones are actually the exact same thing. Um, I think I've gotten them in like Ipsy bags in the past. Um, they are pretty actually. I might keep one, but how do I know which one to keep? <laughs> This one's the Benefit um, What's Up highlighter. It's just a sample. It actually looks really similar to the Trestique one that I just used. Um, and let's look at this Clinique Chubby Stick. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick, which I thought I liked, but actually I don't know that I love that. I love these two more. So I might see if someone else wants this. Now for blush. Um, again, I feel like this could be a lot worse. <laughs> these have kind of accumulated over, again, a very long period of time, so you can tell I'm not a huge like highlighter or blush person, like I pretty much stick to what I know, so I feel like these will be easy for me to get rid of. The first one I definitely have to keep is this NARS blush in Madly. This is my go-to favorite blush of all time, so definitely keeping that one. Another favorite is this Tarte one in Exposed. Obviously you can tell I like my nude blushes. <laughs> I also love this Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne blush. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. These are all very similar, but I love them all, so I can't get rid of them. I also really love this Physicians Formula Butter Blush. I believe this is in the color Plum Rose. It's a really odd one. Like, I don't use it all the time, but there are days where I really like this one because it's very simple and natural. So I'm gonna keep this one, especially because it smells amazing. This one, I don't even know why I ever bought this. Just prepare yourself for the color right now. Bam. This is in the color Crush. I don't know why I bought this. I have maybe used it once or twice. Um, this is such an insane color. I'm definitely going to see if this can go to a better home. Don't know what phase I was in when I bought this, but I'm definitely not in it now. This Too Faced Sweethearts blush, um, it's in the color Sparkling Bellini. Again, this isn't like a day-to-day -day favorite, but this is a really pretty one for like certain occasions. So I'm gonna keep this one because I really think it's pretty and yeah, I like it. In terms of these e.l.f. blushes, um, I'm not really sure what to do. This one is really pretty. It's in the color Sweet Retreat. And this one is a little darker, a little more peachy, um, and it has some glitter in it. And this is the color Cabo Cabana. I actually think these are really good formula and I really like them and they're nice to have. So I think I might keep these. I'm also going to keep this ColourPop one in the color Between the Sheets because this is the only cream blush I have and I think it's really pretty, so I'ma keep that one. Now for this one, again, this is one I've had forever. I don't even know how I got this. This is the Tarte Blush in Peach Bronze. It's not even really a blush. It's kind of like a bronzer blush. 
I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to see if somebody else wants this. This little NARS sample is actually, it's really different than everything else I have. I know you're probably rolling your eyes. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But it is really different from what I have. And I feel like I may want this at some point. It's kind of a little more on the mauve -y side. And then for this one that I've been putting off, um, this is the coveted NARS favorite orgasm. Again, this is kind of like the Urban Decay Crush one. Like at one point, I really loved this, but I never wear this anymore. But at the same time, I feel like I should keep it because it's kind of like a cult classic. And if I don't have this blush, like what am I even doing with my life? <laughs> and this is honestly one of the first makeup things I ever picked up. So it's kind of more nostalgic than anything, but I just don't think I can get rid of it. Like I know that sounds ridiculous, but I feel like I have to keep it like just on principle. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're on to bronzers and this is gonna be the tricky one for me. I am obsessed with bronzers, if you can't tell by this little collection here. And they all look very similar. I recognize that, but they are all also very different. So this is going to be tough for me. This one's my most recent purchase. This is NARS in the shade Laguna, but it's not like the original Laguna. It's their like sun-kissed matte formula and it is so pretty i'm obsessed with it it gives the most natural matte but still like somewhat sheen kind of glow to it as you can kind of see like in the light it is so pretty i'm obsessed with this then we have the og nars laguna which you can see i'll put them up side by side they're pretty different um but they're both laguna this one's quite a bit darker it has a little bit more of a sheen to it and i still really love this one so gonna keep that one as well this one is also a fairly new purchase it is the becca Sunlip bronzer in Bali sands and it's gorgeous. It also has the most like natural sheen to it I can't get rid of this one. It's too pretty. I love it. This is the Too Faced um, Sweethearts bronzer in sweet tea again very pretty this has more of like a sheen um, Not really glittery, but more so than the other ones kind of thing going on and I really like this one So I'm gonna keep that as well. I also have to keep the physicians formula butter bronzer um, this is actually the lighter one, so it doesn't really work for me now in the summer, but in the winter, this is great. And again, just like the blush, it smells fantastic. So it's nice just for a little pick-me-up every so often. I know it's a bronzer, not a perfume, but I love it. Then we also have the um, trusty Benefit Hula, and I actually, I'm a little worried that this is breaking me out. I feel like I get acne on my cheeks every so often when I start to use this again. So I don't know, down the road I might have to get rid of it, which makes me so sad because I love this bronzer so much, but I am kind of worried that it's breaking me out. And I don't know why this one would and not any of the other ones, which is why I'm kind of holding onto it because it doesn't make sense to me, but I don't know how I'm gonna come to terms with getting rid of this if this is the thing causing me to break out. But for right now, I'm not convinced, so I'm keeping it. I also love this Urban Decay Beached Bronzer. Um, this is unlike everything I have because it's really, really warm toned. So this is nice just on certain occasions when I want something like really red and dark and deep. It's a similar thing with this Makeup Forever one. Again, it's more of like a darker tone. This is also something that I've had forever and I'm kind of holding on to it for a nostalgia factor, but I do still pick this up every so often. It's kind of a little more natural than the Beached Bronzer from Urban Decay, but it still has that deeper um, tone to it, so it's nice in the summer, and I have been reaching for this recently. And somehow a contour stick made its way in here, but this is also the Anastasia Stick Foundation, just in Fawn, the contour color. So this and the Smashbox are the only two cream contours I have, and I really love this one, so I'm going to keep it. I'm also going to keep this battered up Cover FX um, Custom Cover Enhancer Drops in Sunkissed. So this is more of like a bronzy color, and I haven't used it recently. I actually kind of forgot I had it, but this is freaking expensive so I'm gonna keep this one. This I never use. This is the Benefit Do The Hula, so I'm totally okay letting someone else take this off my hands. Same with this Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. I've had this forever. I think I got it just as a sample, but I never use this, so I'm gonna let someone else take that home. And this Ulta um, Matte Bronzer. It's in the cool shade, which I got to be kind of like a contour color, and it's actually really nice. It has like the weirdest texture to it, and it's really nice, but I just have other things that I like better, so I'm totally fine getting rid of this. And last but not least, we have the Too Faced bronzers. Um, this is the milk chocolate one. And this is the chocolate one that I got as a sample. I use these kind of back and forth in the winter and the summer, so I am totally going to keep these because I love them. I know, I kept so many, but I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> so here we are with this drawer, guys. 
Um, it looks so much better already. I feel so much better about it. Um, everything fits in here nicely now. I'm still gonna look for more organization um, for this stuff over here, but as of now, guys, I'm so happy with this. Thank God we are making progress. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for part one of this makeup clear out collection organization video series thing. Honestly, I could have split these videos into like four, five, or even like eight parts, but I kept it into two fairly long videos so as to keep as much in each video as possible. So in this video, we managed to clear out bronzers, blushes, highlighters, foundations, and concealers. So next week, you'll see me clear out primers, powders, eyeshadows, mascaras, eyeliners, and all of my palettes, as well as all the organization. So you'll see me go to the store, pick out the stuff, come back, and literally put everything in these drawers in like an organizational manner. <laughs> so if you're excited to see that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, just in case you don't remember that part two is coming out next week, make sure to subscribe and maybe even turn on the notifications. That way you'll know for sure exactly when it goes up and exactly when you can watch it. So if I were you, that's what I would do, but it's just a suggestion. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed part one of this video and I will see you next week for part two. Bye guys.